guys, this is Comic Uno and Comic Frontline, and today I am doing a Disney review for Comic Frontline, Maleficent. Uh, so yeah, there's been a lot of these live action type Disney movies. Uh, we've gotten to see Alice in Wonderland, etc. A lot of them, and now the next one in its track is Maleficent, uh, giving a different spin on anime movies we know and love. And to dedicate that, I, I'm wearing my favorite anime movie. Little Mermaid. Uh, I did see this with uh, this shirt. I saw the movie with this shirt, so I was very happy to do that. I love seeing movies with shirts that have to do with the movie. Uh, like I'll see like a superhero movie with like an Avenger shirt or whatever. So uh, Little Mermaid, big fan. Hopefully they'll make some sort of Little Mermaid movie one of these days. Uh, but yeah, let's get into Maleficent. Uh, that is the movie we are, we are talking about. It's a movie I was actually looking really forward to. Um, I know the critics went really hard on it. Um, it did get a rotten on Rotten Tomatoes. Um, I have not seen all the critics' reviews on YouTube that I usually watch, like Chris Duckman, Smells No, um, which I'm going to watch, though. I'm going to watch it after I saw the movie, because I don't really like influencing my thoughts with other people's thoughts. So I didn't really see the reviews, but I saw the gratings of reviews. And Rotten Tomato, again, it was rotten. Um, but it was a movie I was really looking forward to from the trailer. Uh, the trailer really surprised me. I really didn't care about Maleficent. I... And the last time I see uh, Sleep, uh, Sleeping Beauty is um, probably when I was a kid. I really have not seen Sleeping Beauty in a really long time. Um, and I honestly don't even remember seeing it. That's how long ago it was. But I've seen like every Disney movie. So I'm sure I have seen it. Uh, but it's been a long time. So obviously you can see I'm not a humongous Sleeping uh, Beauty fan. So at first I wasn't totally excited for Maleficent. Am I a humongous Angelina Jolie fan? No, I can miss Angelina Jolie uh, movie. Uh, I'm not someone that'll go out to the theater just to see Angelina Jolie. Uh, but I'm not against her either. I'll go see a movie like Maleficent uh, because I think she is a good actress, but she's not something I'll go out of my way to see. Uh, so when I first initially saw this trailer, um, I really liked it. That that one scene where Maleficent, um, where Sleeping Beauty says, or Aurora says, um, come out. And she's like, no, like, I'm not going to come out. Obviously this paraphrasing, uh, but come on, come on, come out. It's like, are you afraid? Uh, it's like, no, well, you'll, you'll be afraid. I know I butchered that line, but it's, I love it. I love that, uh, from that point. Um, it's still the best line I saw from the movie. Uh, so that really pulled me in. I thought the trailers and the marketing that Disney did was great for Maleficent. That a lot of people got excited for a movie that maybe people wouldn't have known even came out. This is definitely a movie I thought would have went under the radar, but now that with Disney's success with these movies like Alice in Wonderland, Really, that was the only uh, successful one. Um, I think people are rushing out to the theater a little bit more to see it, again, because of this trailer. Um, which is weird, because Disney usually doesn't market in uh, that way. They usually make everything really secret. So, um, now I walked into the movie. What is this movie about? It, it's centered around Maleficent. She's the villain and the hero of the story, uh, which is obviously the change, because we know Maleficent is the true villain of... Of Sleeping Beauty and they change this movie they do uh, they change a lot of aspects spoiler alert uh, they do um, I will have spoilers in this review but once I get to that I'll tell you the spoilers um, but yeah I mean we get to see the relationship that Maleficent had with the previous king and the relationship she will have with his daughter now the daughter has to go away doesn't even know she is Aurora doesn't even know she is a princess and because we see that she was uh, st uh, struck with a curse by Maleficent. And we see her grow up. We see Maleficent actually cares for her. And we see this vendetta that the father goes through um, just for Maleficent. And not even caring about the daughter, but just caring about this revenge. Just this, this, uh, this movie definitely has a, a big plot of revenge. Uh, so that's pretty much the premise of the movie. It's, it's about love, it's about revenge, and it's about people in general. It's a very characterized movie, more than story driven, which I really enjoyed with the movie. Um, and overall, I liked it. Um, I did. I thought it was a good movie. I'm not going to say it's the best movie I saw, but it was a fun time at the theater. That's the best way to put it. Um, I had a lot of fun with this movie. I thought the graphics were wonderful. If you're looking for great graphics, this is it. Great graphics. Um, I think that's definitely a highlight of the movie. But it changes the story. It really does. And um, spoiler alert, this is what happens that I was not shocked at. Like once some, you know, once a kiss didn't actually uh, revive her, I'm like, all right, I know which kiss is going to revive her uh, or make her wake up. 
And I remember someone in the movie theater said, oh, shocked and everything, and literally made that gasping noise. I'm like, I kind of rolled my eyes, I'm like, I saw this coming. Uh, if you see a lot of movies, you're going to see that coming. Um, but what happens is that Prince Philip, there's Prince Philip, and I love that they're actually 16-year-old 16 uh, 16-year-old actors, um, or at least close to it, because they actually look like 16-year-olds and not like, 30, 20 year olds. Uh, so I love that they actually use that for the age range and same for Prince Philip, actually showing how young they are in a live action movie. Uh, but yeah, Prince, Prince Philip comes in, kisses her, doesn't work because I love that Prince Philip never actually met her. Like they like each other, doesn't mean that they're not true love, but they never actually interacted with each other. So it shows, yeah, they're not true love, meaning not yet. If you want to follow the Disney stuff, they might be true love one day, but they're not true love yet. So Maleficent says, you know, I'm sorry, I really didn't want to do this to you. My revenge got it in the way and you didn't, you didn't deserve this. You're a kind girl, um, innocent girl as we see in the movie and kisses her on the forehead and she wakes up. So Maleficent was the true love, being a motherly love to, uh, to Aurora. And I really like that, and, you know, again, it was a little predictable once we saw that. I know some people were shocked at it, but I was not shocked. Um, but I like that twist, and I, I really like the way it went because it was a happy ending for Maleficent, um, which we wouldn't see in the movie. Uh, there's death in this movie. Um, and I liked that, again, it was very, it, it showed that, yeah, Maleficent's a bad person. She did put the spell in Aurora, but she learned to love Aurora at the same time, looking over her. And I thought that was a really cool message. Um, and that's what really made the movie for me, is that love, that motherly love uh, with Aurora, and how the father got so caught up in revenge that he forgot the whole purpose he was doing this. He was doing it for his daughter, but once his daughter returned, he's like, go to the dungeon, I gotta kill Maleficent. Uh, I think he was so driven and blinded by revenge that he didn't even know the whole reason he was doing this. Uh, so I thought that was a really um, interesting plot. So overall, is it the most mind-blowing um, movie? No, it's not. But it's a cute, fun movie. It's definitely, I think, worth seeing in the theaters for the effects. Uh, the effects were really good for the movie that I think you're going to get more out of the theater um, than maybe Netflix. But it's a fun movie. I think you should at least watch once. I wouldn't say I'll go out to the theater to see this again. Um, fun movie. I'm going to give this a 3.75. Um, I was really torn between, between a 3.5 and, and a 4. Um, but I don't really want to give it 4 because I feel like in you know maybe a couple of months this will be a little forgettable for me but it was a fun movie seeing it and uh, I like the message and I think Angelina Jolie did a great job if it wasn't for Angelina Jolie um, carrying this movie it wouldn't be as good but she did a really great job portraying the character everyone else was kind of two-dimensional but Angelina Jolie really hit it out of the ballpark for me in this one so I am going to give this a 3.75 I really enjoyed the movie um, and I think you should at least go see it once in the theater I don't recommend seeing it 3D or any of that just like go get a cheap ticket uh, wherever your cheaper movie theater is I know I have that around me it's like oh you know I'll go to a cheaper movie theater or the one with better quality this could be a maybe a cheaper movie theater going uh, but yeah I, I enjoyed it I think it's worth the you know the theater going uh, I'm gonna give it a 3.75 so hope you guys enjoyed this is comic frontline and guys don't forget to follow me on Twitter for comic you know and their own situations and don't forget to like my Facebook page and I'll see you guys later bye